I love sharing the story and strategies on how I made it from milking cows to working on self-driving technology in Silicon Valley, California, where I live. How does the farm boy fix it growing up without a father, growing up going to school without his parents? How does a farm boy make it to the United States and learn English here, graduate school in three years, be the first one to go to college and to make it to the biggest global tech companies in the world where people try very, very hard to get into? And how does this guy with an accent make it? If you can hear my accent, say hi. Hi. I can hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you this, and if you have an accent, remember this. Having an accent can be a good thing. Yes. Because a lot of people think it's sexy. <laughs> Today, <laughs> the reality is, you see, uh, you may not be able to see the numbers because they're small, but, but the statistics show that, that the number of Hispanics enrolling into college right now, it's going through the roof. About 250,000 every year. Yeah. Everybody in Spanish say, yes! yes. Yeah, that's right, baby. We're making history. First generation, we got it going. But the problem is, the Hispanics are the ones that don't finish the race. It's very hard for us to stick all the way through because of so many challenges. Especially when we're first generation, we don't know what we're, what we're about to expect. And it gets really hard. So that's why I exist. See what I mean? I'm Obi like Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> so that means like I'm the boss. <laughs> but I'm not your father. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Some people, I did a little research before I came here. So I wouldn't just give you my own perspective, but I asked all other Latino who already graduated from college. What made, what made you stay engaged and make it through graduation? And some of them say that they knew they had to get out of poverty. A lot of them say that it's, they, they stay engaged because there was a, like an ethnic group in the, in the university. And they said that they, they knew that making it through, they were going to change their lives. Others say that they had a counselor who actually reached out to them during the toughest, toughest times. And because she went above and beyond, then that she had a commitment and that pushed her to deliver results to the person that cared for her the most. And that's why she graduated from college. This other one right here said he knew he needed an education to get out of poverty. And poverty was a word that came up very often in these responses that I got. And someone else said that staying engaged because uh, that she would feel engaged if she felt welcome in a creative space that that would really help because sometimes like, when you don't feel like you don't belong it ruins everything and what else she said is that it's really nice to have someone that looks like you in front of you instead of some white dudes that's what she said promoting diversity <laughs> that's what she said all right so when they see me Farm boy from Chicken Fields of Guatemala, from Univision 14, you know, right? <laughs> they say, this is my guy right here. He understands what's going on. He understands mi gente. Mi gente. Mi gente. That's right. Understands. You got to have someone who understands, who's been there. Who's been there and done that. Been through the whole process. It made it to the biggest global tech companies in the world. Not just talking about a dream, talking about results. Published five books. A lot of people say that over 90% of Americans die with a dream of publishing a book. And then when they find out, you're just 27, you published five, and you're on TV? Oh, you're doing some amazing things. And I said, I'm just getting started. Because, yes. <laughs> you know, us Latinos have potential. Do we? Yes or yes? Yes! yes.